Okay, salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, good day again everyone. Today we will be learning about um, the sum and difference of a binomial and a trinomial. Now, this one has no definite um, name for it. I just gave it this name because based on the structure being you have a binomial here and you would have a trinomial here on the other side and you are multiplying them and you would get something special in the form of the cube of that first term here and then the cube of the second term here yeah. basically the answer to this long equation is this very short one and it's easy to uh, no, to answer but finding the um determining but but determining the given if the given is um under some indifference of a binomial and trinomial could be a little bit tricky okay it could be a little bit tricky determining it. So, first, let's have an example. Anyway, so uh, this would be the structure of our given, okay? So, this would be the final answer. A little bit easy. So, our problem would be determining how to get... Uh, uh, determining our example if, if it falls under this topic, okay? So, let's start. Say we have... Uh, not not x plus sorry sorry let's change it up a little bit say we have um 2x minus y yeah. okay and we have 4x squared um 4x squared plus 2xy plus y squared yeah so we have this given okay and we have we want to determine whether this given falls under this um, SDBT form, okay? Sum and difference of a binomial and a trinomial. So, we want to determine that. And we will be able to determine that by taking the, f the, f the binomial only. So, to determine, determine, take the binomial. Let me change the color for our, um, for our answer, let's use white. But for our guide, we use again the uh, green one, okay? So, first one is you have to take the binomial Take the, taking the binomial will give you of course 2x minus y right and if you take the binomial you will separate them based on the first term and then the second term or being x and y okay so we will have our x to be 2x and then our y would be negative y okay our y would be negative y. Ito yan. X and y. And then for us to determine whether this one falls under that, we need to, first one, get the square of x. So you will take x, which is of course 2x, and then you will get the square of that. And getting the square of that, I will not expound on that a little uh, anymore. It would be 4x squared. Second would be, you have to get the y, get the square, I mean, get the square of y. And getting the square of y would give you, um, sorry, uh, y, negative y, will give you, of course, y squared. Okay, negative y squared is y squared. And lastly, you would need to multiply x and y. So, multiplying x and y will give you, of course, 2x times negative y. Okay? 2x times negative y. And this will get you, of course, negative 2xy. Now, as for the signs of this one, okay? As for the signs, you need to get the absolute value absolute value now when we talk about absolute value it means that it must always be positive it must always be positive always positive okay so you still need to take you still need to take but then again you must always assume but for this one the rules always positive we get the absolute value now you compare we compare we compare what we compare your answers to our given. Are they the same? 
Yes. Next, we have y squared. Are they the same? Yes. And lastly, this one, 2xy, are they the same? Then, yes. If they are the same, then we can assume that, take note, everything must be the same. If they are the same, oh sorry, let me undo that. Let me scroll down a little bit. Okay. So, let's, we have a note here. Note. If they are the same for the three terms, then it is under sum and difference of a binomial and a trinomial. Okay. So we can now answer use uh, using the form. Which form to be specific? Which form to be specific? We will answer using this form. The second one. Sorry, um, the box is way off. We will answer using this one. Why this one? Because you will notice that this one is minus. So, this one is also minus. So, we will use this one. Okay? And it's quite easy to solve for that. How easy? Just simply need to... You just simply need to... Take the first term and take the second term and get the cube of that. So, what? now we will go to the rulings. Okay? So we have the we have already an idea of how to determine. Now we go to the rulings. For the rulings, let's use the uh, blue one. Rules. Number one. Take the first term and get the cube. Or let's make it shorter on our our next one. Take the first term and let's take the cube. So you have two x. You have to take the cube. And the cube of that would be 8x cubed. Next rule. Um, take the second term. I take the cube of the second term. Let's make it shorter. Take the cube of the second term. Taking the cube of the second term, we have negative y. Okay, cube being negative y cube still okay and what do you need to do finally you just simply need to number three yeah number three just simply combine them combine them in a sense you will have 8x cube if this is positive then plus if that is negative of course it would be minus y cube and this would be your final answer so let's just write it down here at the top so, this would be 8x cubed minus y cubed. So, now let's try to check. Is our answer correct? Tama kaya yung sagot natin. So, let's try to take our given and try to multiply manually. This is our answer by the way. This is the shortcut. But, let's take it in the long method. Taking it in the long method will give us... Um, uh, let's go back to our example. I think it's... 2x minus y okay times 4x squared um plus 2xy and we have um plus y squared let's try to multiply this given okay foil uh distributive this would be 8x cube to this one naman this would be um plus 4x squared y and then last one here, we will have um, plus 2xy squared. Okay? So next, we will have this top. This would give us negative 4x squared y. To this one, it will give us negative 2xy squared. And lastly, we will have negative y cubed. So you will notice that these terms, they are the same. So we can cancel them out. Because they are the same but they have different signs. Then we have this one. They are the same but they have different signs. So we can cancel them. Okay, it's just like having 4 minus 4. It's 0. Okay. And what would be left? What would be left would be our 8x cubed minus y cubed. So if we will try to check, this one would be the same as our first one. First answer. This answer. Okay? So, you would say, sir, parang mas madali yun. 
But then again, if you can inspect immediately, if you can inspect immediately your example and determine if it is um, sum and difference of um, a binomial and a trinomial, then it's faster in, in this way, in the special product. Let's try to have our example again. Say we have 3x um, y minus j squared. And we will have it multiplied by 9x squared y squared. Um, I'm constructing the question by uh, let's have it plus minus 3xyz squared and plus z raised to 4. So let's try to determine the given. Okay? Square ba to ng first term? Yes. Kasi 9x squared y. Next, is this the product of these two? Yes, also. And then, this, is this given? Is this given? The square of the last term? This one? Yes. Then, the answer would be 27x cubed y cubed plus z raised to 6. You see, it's much faster. Again, the rule would be like this. First rule, 3xy cubed. Second rule, um, we have z, z squared cube. The answer here is 9x squared y squared. This one is z raised to 6. And last one, combine them together being, sorry, uh, yeah, being this one. Okay. My curve being this one. Okay, It's faster. Even for me, it's faster. Kasi if you have a good grip on how to get the cube of any given term, then it would be much faster for you and in any case getting the cube is the same as getting the square okay for the letter you just simply multiply the exponent but for the numbers you simply need to evaluate let's have our last example say we have um, um 3y minus 5 and we have 6 i uh, know not 6 we have 9y squared plus um, 15y plus 25. So, determining if this is um, under S, S, D, B, T, S, D, B, T, okay? Just simply take the first term and check 3y squared, good. I um, mean, here, we put a check here. 3y squared, good. Product of the two, good. And then, square the last term. Same. Good. Next, let's just simply get the 3y cubed minus 5 cubed. You, know, you will notice in our given, the operation here on the answer is the same as the operation on the first one. Okay? So, being 27y cubed minus 125. And you are already done. Okay? So, I hope that you got our tutorial for today. Um, maybe, sige, before we actually go, let's have our last example. So that it's, you know, let me give you an easy one. Say we have x plus 2, the very famous x plus 2. x squared minus 4x, I mean minus 2x, um, plus 4. The answer here would be x cubed plus 8. Very easy, why? It would be x cubed plus 2 cubed. And this would be your final answer. Okay, so I hope that you got something from our tutorial today. Um, if you have any other questions, you can just go back on our um, video. Um, thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.